So in this video, I'm going to give an overview of the skeleton and tell you about the two specific regions of the skeleton we're going to be concerned with. And so there are two regions of the skeleton. They are the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. And so it's important to remember that there are typically 206 bones in the adult skeleton, but there were more bones at birth that fused together. And so some examples are the bones in your head that fuse together. And so now let's talk about axial versus appendicular skeletons. And so the difference between axial and the appendicular skeleton is just essentially which bones that it's comprised of. And so the axial skeleton, as you can see right here, are the bones that are highlighted in blue. And the axial skeleton forms the central supporting axis of the body, and it consists of about 80 bones. The bones of the axial skeleton includes the skull, which includes the cranium and facial bones, the ossicles of the inner ear, the hyoid bone, which is just essentially under your jaw, the rib cage, and the vertebral column, so your vertebrae. And so these bones will have some function in weight bearing and protection. For example, the skull and the rib cage will protect your brain and the organs of your chest. And the hyoid bone is just essentially it's an anchor for muscles that covers the throat as a protective function for your airway and your major arteries and nerves in your throat. And obviously your vertebral column helps in proper weight distribution and it helps protect the spinal cord as well as maintaining your posture. Now, on the other hand, the appendicular skeleton is just everything else. And so the appendicular skeleton generally consists of 126 bones. And these bones include, and sorry, it includes the bones of the upper and lower limbs and their connections to the axial skeleton. And so they're mainly made up of long bones as well as some other bones. And so the function of the appendicular bones help you with balance and stability along with locomotion and manipulation of things. And so pretty much, as you can see, the axial skeleton is a little bit more important due to the fact that it protects some vital organs, such as your brain and your heart. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.